Hi, this is Nancy from the Ann Arbor store here, and we're doing an orzo roasted vegetable salad. I think you'll find it just delightful. We're gonna start with, we've got two different kinds of pepper. I have red pepper in this and yellow pepper. One of the ways that I was taught to do a pepper is when you're when it's on the counter and you're, or the cutting board and you're ready to cut it, it can roll. So an easy way to do is think of it as a box. Take, you're gonna cut the four sides of the box off. Cut right down. So we're slicing those sides down. This makes it a lot easier to then, now that came all the way off, cut the bottom so then you have the bottom of the box. Now I can easily take these pieces and either stack them and make nice julienne slices. You can make chunks out of it, however you'd like to, you know, depending on the size you want. One of the things that I like to do in this dish is to have the vegetables be different sizes. So I've cut the red pepper up into cubes. So on the julienne, I'm gonna have them more in strips. Excuse me, on the yellow pepper, I'm gonna have them more in strips. So I'll do that in a second. I'll show you how I, how I do that. But we also have asparagus in the dish. So start with cutting off the woody end. So get rid of that. This is already washed. This is a trick that Andy used to do. Take your asparagus, and if you're trying to get the wooden part off and you do it standing up, you're gonna have an issue. But take a, take a peeler and keep it laying down right on your cutting board and slice that off. And that'll get the thicker woodiness on the asparagus off of it and make it more tender when it's cooking. Okay, I've got all the different vegetables I want to put in the roasted vegetable orzo all chopped up and cut into pieces. You can be as flexible with this recipe as you would like. You can add lots more, you can add less. Eggplant is wonderful in this, cauliflower is wonderful in it. Um, the farmer's market is your landscape to add what you want to this vegetable dish depending on what is in season. But the olive oil that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a nice high quality. This is a, a select olive oil direct from Spain. This is Arbequina. And I'm gonna drizzle that over our vegetables, nicely salted. When you add kosher salt to roasted vegetables, it actually helps with browning them. So not only are you adding the flavor to give a little salt flavor, but the salt actually will help create the browning. And then I'm just gonna massage that good Arbequina olive oil into the vegetables. Oh, those look beautiful. So much nutrition in the vegetables for you. This is a, a really fabulous salad. It keeps great in the refrigerator for several days. So I've got that oil massaged into the vegetables. And we're gonna put those into an oven, 400 degree oven. And we're gonna roast that up. We've roasted the vegetables and they've come out of the oven and cooled. The deliciousness in that. We've got broccoli and mushrooms and peppers and onion. You can make any combination you want. Eggplant is a great addition to this. So the vegetables were roasted with a uh, peak ball olive oil. I also took orzo. And so we've made, made our orzo. In case you're not familiar with orzo, orzo is a small pasta actually, but it resembles yeah. rice. There are a couple different ways. The orzo I bought today is actually very, very small, but this is what it normally looks like, kind of a, a large grain of, of rice. So my orzo has cooled, my vegetables have cooled, and we're gonna make the salad dressing to go over the roasted vegetable salad. In it, I'm using our Arbequina olive oil. This came from Spain. It's a mild olive oil or a delicate one. So it's not gonna overpower the flavor that we have with the roasted vegetables. Sicilian lemon balsamic vinegar. Lots of flavor in that and that give a nice bright brightness to our salad dressing. Fresh lemon, so lemon juice, this is our olive oil. Fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna add the balsamic to that. Sicilian lemon is probably one of my top favorite balsamic vinegars because you can use it for so many different things some fresh ground pepper and a little bit of salt. Whisk that together. And usually for this salad, I add about half of the dressing to the pasta. And I also will make a note that when the pasta is still hot, I drizzle a little bit of um, olive oil over the pasta to keep it from sticking together. So we're gonna mix that in. And the reason I use about half is I don't want to coat it all without having any left to coat the vegetables. I'm going to 
put in some of our zested lemon peel, put that over it. Again, we're trying to, to build the bright flavors in here. And now we'll add all the vegetables. The goodness going in there. And we'll toss that together. Put more of our dressing over it. And a little bit more salt. And I'll plate that up for you and you can see what it looks like when I'm ready to serve it. We've got the orzo and the vegetables. We're gonna to top it with a good feta. I use a feta that I can chunk myself because I think that it this recipe holds up well to a bigger bite of feta. If you buy them that are already crumbled, it disappears in the recipe. So we're gonna to top that with feta. We'll top it with a little bit of sliced scallions. There we go. And I'm gonna take my imaginary pine nuts because apparently they didn't make it with me. So, boom, boom, boom. There's your pine nuts. And we'll give a taste to that and see how it is. Make sure I get some orzo, get a piece of roasted vegetables and the feta. So the lemon comes through, the fresh vegetables, the orzo. What a delight for a nice spring dinner, or you can add it for a, a side dish to roasted chicken or roasted salmon. And I think you'll have a lot of happy people. It's deliciousness will be easy to devour.